what is the story of pi uh, versus new new question pi is this right here let me give you a quick intro to pi let me let me read the speed goes us disney uh, suing Stan Lee's family for contract control of Marvel characters. I hope they fail and burn to death. <laughs> she says, <laughs> Joe Chicho, the area of a circle was one of the first derivations I saw in math. It blew me away. You basically split the circle into an infinite amount of triangles and then rearrange those uh, into a rectangle. Then you simply use the area of the rectangle. Really? very cool very cool here uh deep flake check this out here's pi right here's a circle right here's the center of the circle right the most important thing about a circle or the only thing that defines a circle is the radius right here's the radius okay now the radius is the most important thing about a circle because everything's based on the radius right if I give you the radius of a circle you can make the exact same circle as I did here over there wherever you are right keep that in mind now for you if you're standing here let's say you're standing on a big circle right if you're gonna move this way right then I could tell you in one way that you know that almost everyone knows where i want you to go i can put a grid on this circle here's an x here's a y right because we make the center of the circle zero zero right this is point zero zero right and what i can do is say okay from angle theta right from angle theta go to 120 degrees on the circle and you would go here right from there you would go here thank you very much and from here to here whoop, that would be 120 degrees right that's one way i can tell you where i want you to go from a circle right right over here maybe it was 30 degrees i would tell you to go to 30 degrees on the circle and you know where you are right now there's another way i could tell you where to go on a circle i could tell you where to go on a circle using geometry using coordinate system x and y coordinates because if we draw a triangle here right angle triangle right then this point here is your x and y where this is your x right or x1 and y1 y1 and this here would be your y1 so instead of telling you i want you to go 30 degrees along the circle i could just say go to coordinate x1 y1 and you end up there or go to coordinate x2 and y2 i could tell you to go here right here's x2 here's y2 and you end up there right that's one way of doing it right so i can give you an angle and I tell you what the radius is and you're there right so there's two uh, variables that you got taken care of or I could also put a coordinate system on there and give you two variables and you end up at the same place so I could tell you where to go on a circle on on the surface of a circle or in the circumference of a circle by giving you either the angle theta okay or the radius r or I could give you a coordinate system right now one thing that's a fact universal fact universal fact mathematicians are the laziest human beings on this planet right tap tap it fast thank you very much for the follow seriously mathematicians are the laziest human beings on this planet and what they did they went two variables i don't want two variables i want to deal with one variable I don't want two variables I want to cut down my variables because when you cut down your variables the problem becomes simpler right you got one less variable to deal with awesome right as long as you can do the same thing so what mathematicians that did, did they said okay what is the most important thing about a circle for you to draw the same circle that I draw what do you need you just need the radius the radius is really the only thing that defines a circle right so mathematicians said this you know what this is what we're gonna do 
we're not going to measure the angle in degrees, right? Because degrees is a new variable, right? Theta in degrees and radius in distance measurements, feet, centimeters, whatever you want, right? Length. So forget about the degrees here, okay? Angle in degrees, okay? What we're going to do is define this, okay? We're going to come up with a new measurement of an angle, and we're going to call it radians. 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 And what is radians? We're going to define radians or one radian. So one radian to be the equivalent distance you would travel along a circle. Okay that was equivalent to the distance of the radius, right? So if this is R, right? If this is R and this is your radius, then we're gonna say that one radian, one radian is you taking this distance and putting it along the circle. So if we take this, one radian would be this, basically. Take a look, whoop, to there this distance here would be the equivalent of r right so if this was 10 meters then this would be 10 meters you follow right i hope that makes sense pretty straightforward and what we're going to do we're going to call this one radian so what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase this i'm going to do this R equals 10. So if the radius of a circle is 10, right? And if you travel along the arc of a circle 10 units, then we're going to call this one radian. One rad. And rad is just short for like degrees is degrees and one radian is rad, right? This is the angle. So when I say I've traveled one radian along a circle. That means I've traveled the equivalent of the radius. So if I draw your circle here, whoop, right? And I put you here, right? And here's the radius, R. And I say travel five radians along the circle, right? Then what you would do, you would go, here's a radius. So five of these, so here's one, let's say, here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five. So you would go, da -da 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 this is where you end up, right? I didn't have to give you degrees. I didn't have to give you degrees. I got rid of theta in degrees. I created a new variable, which is radiance, which is dependent on the radius so it's really the radius right cool cool what's pi pi is universal for every circle no matter what size it is because if you travel from one end of a circle if you go exactly half the circle to that side, you have traveled pi radians. Because from there to here would have been five radians. And from there to there is pi radians. And pi is 3.1 four one five i believe if i'm not mistaken so if you're standing here i tell you to travel pi radians along the circle you would go oh i know where that is that's where i'm gonna go that's where you are so pi is on a unit circle, a unit circle would be one if we we're going to call it, but that's what it is. Pi radians, pi radius is half a circle. 
That's why the circumference of a circle, circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. r is your radius, how long your radius is, and 2 pi is you traveling 2 pi radians, right? So if I tell you you're standing here to go 2 pi radians along the arc length of a circle, you would go do, 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 and if I ask you how long, what's the distance there? You would go, oh, the distance is 2 pi, because that's how many radians I've traveled, the angle I've traveled in the circle, times the radius, 2 pi r. Right? If I tell you to travel 5 radians, oh, sorry, not 5, 5 pi radians, it means you're going to go 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi radians. You just traveled 5 pi radians. Right? That means you traveled 5 pi times 10. Oops, times 10. That's the distance you travel. That's what pi is. That's what pi is. I hope that made sense.